helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Hey guys, welcome to Moms Every Day. I'm Hattie Cheek. We have Jessica Granger with us today from Capital Huntington Hospital. Big topic here can be kind of controversial. Some people believe it, some people don't. But the idea of getting vaccinated while you're pregnant, what, what do you think about this? Vaccination, you know, at any time is important, but even more so during pregnancy because you're not only just vaccinating the mother. Um, vaccines such as flu shots and um, the tetanus and pertussis booster are very important because these infants can't get vaccinated directly after birth. And so by vaccinating their mothers, we're also protecting um, the babies as well. Okay, so what kind of vaccine vaccines are we talking about during pregnancy? So the two most important who, you know, are kind of important for every pregnant mom are the flu vaccination and the um, tetanus and pertussis booster. The flu vaccination, um, is recommended for all pregnant women, um, you know, who don't have an allergy to the vaccination, and it can be given at any time. Um, if you're thinking of becoming pregnant once you became pregnant, any trimester. Um, and then the tetanus and pertussis booster is recommended for all pregnant women in the third trimester. So anytime from 27 to 36 weeks um, to also give that pertussis booster. Is there anything in particular you, do, you don't think that they should be getting? So we tend to stay away from any live vaccinations. Um, vaccines like the chicken pox or shingles um, or the MMR vaccines, just because there is a theoretical risk involved with live vaccinations. Okay, and then, you know, I have, I've talked to many people who don't really like to get vaccinations when they're pregnant, when they're not pregnant, but uh, some of them when they're pregnant, they have uh, various reasons, but then they've gotten sick. So, I mean, what do you think about that? Why, why do they usually not like the vaccinations? What kind of stories do you hear? So the, the biggest thing is the flu shot will give me the flu and um, the flu shot is, is not a live virus and you cannot get the actual flu from the vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, lots of people get a, a reaction after the vaccination which causes, you know, some tiredness, um, things like that for a couple of days. But um, getting the flu while pregnant can be very dangerous. We have lots of admissions every year, you know, for pneumonia and other flu complications while pregnant. Yeah, I was just going to ask, what are some of the side effects and how are they different from when you're not pregnant? Um, you know, really same complications as when you're not pregnant. Just during pregnancy, you have both a mom and a, and a baby to look out mm -hmm. for. And so um, that time of, you know, poor oxygenation, if the mother would get pneumonia or anything like that, could also affect the pregnancy. Okay, and then when it comes to just making this decision, uh, you know, what do you talk about with your doctor when you go in there? And, and do you always talk to them beforehand? Because can there be complications with your own specific pregnancy where they would say, okay, maybe we'll shy away from this. Right. And so, and you know, you should physicians should always do a thorough immunization history and outside of flu and and the pertussis vaccination depending on where the mother works or travel exposure or anything like that. There may also be other vaccinations that can be safely given in pregnancy. So, always speak to your physician first. Okay, and it is flu season already, so I'm sure people are coming in. Have you all have you heard a lot of uh, mothers to be coming in and asking questions we about get, this? We get calls every day. Is it safe for me to get a flu shot? Should I get a flu shot? When should I get it? And, you know, flu season has started so um, you know if you've if you're able to get a flu shot we, we highly recommend it do, do you prefer to get the injection or can they get the nasal spray they, I, I've gotten the nasal spray I know some places they like to keep that for the younger kids but during pregnancy we actually recommend getting the the actual shot instead of the nasal spray the okay. nasal spray is a lab virus okay. and so um, just like those other vaccines I talked about it so we just tend to shy away from the lab virus vaccines okay all right and as I was I mentioned earlier Earlier this story I was doing a story a long time ago she had seven kids already never got a vaccination told me she would never get the swine flu vaccine a week later she got the swine flu and she was pregnant with her eighth child kind of an incredible story I <laughs> I felt bad she's like it's your fault I was like I can't be guilty of this so it just kind of goes to show it can happen and had she gotten that vaccine she may not have gotten sick it was pretty rough right. on her it, she was so far along in her pregnancy it was Definitely not something that she no. wanted to deal with at that <laughs> point anymore. But if anyone needs any more information, they can always just reach out to you. 
Yes. Okay, and, and where's that? Hunt Huntington Women's Health associated with Cabell Hospital. All right, and if you need that info, you just head to our website, WSAZ.com. You click on the Moms Every Day tab. You can rewatch our interview, go through everything that you need to know. But now you know someone else's perspective. They think you should get a flu shot even if you are pregnant. Also, make sure you download our Moms Every Day app. Hey, thanks for being with us. We'll be right back with more Moms Every Day. So stay